All right, hi guys, it's Jackie here. So a while ago, I had seen Wendy, at Wendy journal, Wendy's Journal Adventures, um, using these kind of little um, bags um, to make things out of, or to make a little kind of pocket out of, like this. So there's a little pocket here in the top that you could slide a card into or, you know, a tag or whatever. So all she was doing was pretty much cutting this part on the top off like this. Okay. And then saving these pieces. Um, and then in, in here, she was sliding in a piece of something. So I made a few things. This is from a Mother's Goose, Mother Goose uh, little paper pack that I have. And then I've got this. I believe this is, um, I think it's um, Tracy Fox, maybe, or Nick the Booksmith's little um, cigarette cards. That goes that way. And then this is just a sticker um, that I put in here. All right, I think I need to figure out where my camera's at because I have moved it around so it's hard for me to see where exactly it is but all right I think I think these are in now you can see maybe hopefully you can see that better right this is where you can see up here okay so I thought I would work on these a little bit today and I've got out um, all kinds of my my distress inks because I want to be able to use different ones. So I think with this one, um, I think it's this right here, I'm going to use this just around the edge like this. This one does not show up, you know, it's, um, this is Tattered Rose and it's a very pale, pale pink. Um, so I think I'm going to just kind of almost you know I'm just gonna put it everywhere and then I'm gonna go back with my aged mahogany and I'm gonna just do that on the edge this is quite dark so I want to be a little bit careful and just put that around the edge and you'll find the plastic doesn't really ink that well because it goes, it's plastic all the way out to the edge there, but hmm, it's inking a little bit, I guess, because I put the, the tattered rose on first. So I'm just giving that a little bit and then maybe a little swoosh across the top. There, so that's a little bit. So then we'll make a little tag to go in this pocket. Okay, so this one, I used some walnut stain and I think I am going to go around just with a little bit of my old, this is old paper, this one. And it's just a little bit green, so we'll do that. All right, so I have those three that I've done. So um, let's do some more. So this one I have the top cut off. And I have this sheet of you know, home sweet home, whatever, stickers. And I'm gonna try to just kinda stick those in here. I did do the other one, so um, let's try this one. It's a little it's a little tricky, but not too bad. I do want to just um, see if I can ink around it a little. Hmm. Maybe. It, you know, of course, it's shiny, which I could use my sandpaper and grit it up a little, I guess. All right, let's see if I can stick this in here without getting it caught everywhere. We will see if this is a good idea or not. How wide is it? Eh, it's just about, I don't know if it's going to fit, actually. I don't know if it's going to fit in there. Let's better do a little, I'm going to take a little bit off the edge over here because I'm it's a little bit maybe it's a little bit long okay. all right now of course <clears throat> Wendy wasn't trying to do silly things like this she was putting in paper 
you know, and not like, okay, so there, come on, get over, come on, yeah, get over there, maybe, yeah, can you get, no, get up off of there, uh, no, that's not working, it's too, it's still too long, I think, so we'll cut a little bit off of this side now, okay, and right, let's just try to get some of that on there. All right, let's try again. Probably I'll get all the sticky stuck on me instead of in here, and then I'll need to glue it, and that'll be a, a whole mess in itself. Okay, there. In there? Kinda, kinda in there. Get it unstick it with my scissors, maybe. And just try to put it back out, maybe. <laughs> It's crooked as I'll get out, but you know, let's see if I can pull it back up a little bit. Um, oh, I guess it's in there. It's in there, huh? Well, it's crooked, but okay. Anyway, oh, let's try another one. Let's see. I just thought I would use these because I have them. This one says family. This is really long. I don't think that's even gonna go in there. Nope. But I might put it along the bottom here. Like that. You know, what whatever, whatever. Just just for the heck of it, right? I'll just give that a little. And I did um I did have success putting this one in. any a little maybe okay and then let's stick it right in here did I put this on upside down <laughs> <laughs> of course that's okay because we could do it this way yeah that would be okay and then we're just gonna slide this in this is a good size because it's a little bit smaller. Yeah, you can sort of get it in there better. So that's okay. Let's do around the edge here a little bit. Maybe it's this one I'm supposed to be using. Yeah. This is the darker, the green, the <clears throat> there. There. And you could always do a tuck with something going up into this, you know, like this. And it has a little peekaboo there. Okay, so these, um, what she did was, um, she just cut in, like, let's see, yeah. Just cut in here a little bit, that's what I'm gonna do anyway, and take out a little piece on each side. Look at this in on here and then open it up and I do not have I have my I have this ephemera thing here and then these could be decorated you know have a little charm on it or something and it could just go right on uh, a page in your journal as a tab so those are pretty cute huh I think those are cute good way to use everything up I think, I think that's a good idea. All right, I wanted to see what else I might have in here that I could slide in to one of these. Now this is a stamp that's of a, a size that could go in there. It's not a very, it's not a very exciting stamp, I would say. I'm not really thrilled with that. Something like that could go in there, I guess. It's a mermaid tag that I have. Um, let's see, these are mostly all stamps. Um, these are all um, labels. What are these? These are nice going the wrong way. Yeah, they are. Um, you could put like a couple of those in. 
might be really nice. These are really thin though. I probably should. Let's try. Let's see. I'm just going to cut this one like over here. Like that, maybe. Um, let me cut that part off. There. Okay. Let's see if we just ink this a little bit. see <clears throat> now the other ones that I did that just fit in nicely these guys um, I didn't glue them I don't think they're gonna go sliding around um, really but they might um, this one might but isn't that cute in there yeah, I think so I think so and the other thing I was thinking that I might do with some of these grab a piece of paper to put down on my desk, maybe. There we go. Just put this down. I wondered what it would look like. I'm just going to spritz a couple of these. I have some, um, um, where'd you go? You were right here two seconds ago. Because I moved things around, playing with my, um, I have some coffee stain in a spritz bottle, and I'm not sure where it is, because I have a mess over here. Hmm. Oh, here it is. It fell off my desk, that's why. Silly. So I was thinking, what if you... I think this is tea, actually, and it's not very strong. Um, but what if you spritzed some of these and got a little stain going on them? I don't know, maybe even, I might even take a little, I do this a lot too, where I put some stain just on my glass mat and actually I just do some water. <clears throat> And then I'll just take some whatever, and I just kind of do like this, and put a little bit here and there, like this, and then let that dry. Let's see, let's do a couple like that. I'm just kind of playing around here, um, just kind of having some fun, seeing what I want to do. Let's see if those, I think those will dry and look good. I'm not sure that there's enough color in my tea. I might need to um, do a little stronger tea. Um, let's do a little more of this. Maybe I'll just put some of this on there. <clears throat> I really like staining this way. You can get some interesting effects. I'm gonna do the back of this one. I don't know if I'd use it for a flip out or anything, but you never know. So let's just put some of that on the back like that. I'm gonna let those dry and see what happens. Let's do one more because I have a little bit of um, I have a little bit of this left here. Let's sop it all up. Let's just sop it all up. There, <clears throat> got that kind of all cleaned up. That's good. Okay, let me let me just put these over here so I can let those dry. Um, some more over here. Um, so, yeah, I didn't have much. Let's see, do I have more of those? I like, I really like those in there, though. 
Um, I don't think there was much left on here though. To soak up. But, oh, there was a little. Put a little more on here. Oh, and there's some some blue down here at the bottom of my board where I was doing some spray. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of nice. Yeah, I'll just, that looks pretty. All right, we'll I'll leave that. Let's see. All right, what else is in here? There's some more of these little flowers that that have been in here forever that I haven't used. So I think I'm just gonna just gonna use some of these. Um, I like these little purple guys, of course. Over here. There we go. And across the bottom of here. Come on. Ooh, let's do a nice cut, please. I feel like I'm maybe out of the camera angle here. I need to, whoops, I, I'm telling you, I cannot cut very well. I just can't, I just don't, I don't know why. But I need my own straight edge. If I'm really trying to cut a straight line, yeah. Gotta use something a little bit to help me out. Because that is totally not straight at all. Okay, sort of. <laughs> Come on. How does that look? Let's see. Is it at all straight? Hmm. Yeah, not really. I know I'm going to keep cutting this and pretty soon I'm going to be down to like the line there. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. All right. Let's put something around the edge here of this. And then we'll see what else we want to do to the rest of these guys. Give them a little, a little more pizzazz. Now, the ones that Wendy used might have been a little bigger than this. They're, I got these on Amazon. They're, I found them under, let's see, craft colored candy bags, I think, is what I found them under. Um, and there are several different sizes. So I think hers might have been a little bigger than this. I'm not exactly sure. Um, could have been. I don't know. This is um, frayed burlap. Okay. All right. Now, so it's a little pocket there. So what do you think? What should we do? Let's see what I have in my little scrappy scraps over here. Let's see if I can rip this. I don't really know what I'm going to do. But we'll just get some things out and see what we might do. <clears throat> I'm actually going to cut this a little smaller, I think, so that it will go across the bottom but not really cover up too much of our flowers. Oh, I was going to get out my flower gardens today and start lopping stuff off, but yeah, I'm not going to today. I'll save that for another day. I just want to hang out, kind of, and do some stuff with you guys. With you guys. And then I think I'll cut a little piece of this. This is like the last piece of this I have. And I really, I use this for a lot of things. On a lot of things. Put a little bit of that on there. Whoops. Like maybe that. Cut that off a little. I'm just going to.
going to layer some things up here and see what I like. It's this. Yep. And let's see. Um, there was another one of these that I could maybe put like up on the top. Let's cut this down. I got these little scissors, you know, that you push to close and they pop open on their own, mostly to try to help um, cutting. I cut a lot and my knuckles get sore and I'm, um, yeah arthritis -y kind of situation, so I was thinking I would try to see if that helped a little. Who knows? Too early to tell yet. So I'm being very careful with this walnut stain because I sprayed it with some water. So now it's a little bit juicy and so... And so this will just kind of pop right there. Now, let's see. What would we like? I need a little something under there. Um, oh, don't you hate that when you gotta sneeze and then you don't? Oh, gosh. It drives me crazy. I don't like it when I do that. Okay, let's cut a little piece of this off of here. And then we'll have a little bit of cheesecloth under there, I think. Okay. Lots of people with lots of fun things out there. Let's see, of course, uh, Wendy, and um, I've been watching a lot of uh, Pam, The Paper Project. She does some wonderful things, and you also get to listen to her lovely bird serenade while you're watching which is a plus in my book and who else well Artie Mays always has some interesting things um, and um, Angela um, she, Angela Kerr she always is my new person I like to see she's She's back at work now, so darn it, she doesn't get to do as many videos. <laughs> but, but still, she's doing some fun, still doing some pockets and some envelopes and some um, page layouts, which I love seeing some page layouts because that always, whoops, inspires me and gives me some really good ideas. Come on, lay down there. There, I like that on there. That looks cool. Now let's get this other piece down here. Um, let's see. I don't know if you saw, hmm, maybe I mentioned this, I don't know. Gail got, Gail Augustine got an amazing birthday gift thing um, from Carrie. And um, it was all this Edith Holden stuff that he'd made, tags and journal cards and pockets and just tons of stuff. And they're just beautiful. If you have not seen her video when she goes through that, you really should, could, should go and look at it because they are amazing and just so inspirational, you know, to go and do something. All right, what do you think? I like that. I was wondering if I wanted a button on there or do I want an itty bitty butterfly on there? Ugh, I don't know, do I? There are little ones in here, but I don't know if they're that small. They might be too big to go on here actually because I was just thinking of one in the corner. Nope, nope, I'm gonna leave it. I think it looks really pretty just like it is. So that's good. Let's see what else we might have though. This could maybe we could put a little butterfly on. Let's see what we've got. Okay, that's just an extra piece of paper. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is an itty bitty one right there, but um, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Let's see if we find any other colors of itty bitty ones. Um, this one, this one goes on here pretty well, huh? Yep, it does. I'm sure there are other 
itty bitty butterflies in here too because there were lots of all of them. Um, there's a little one like that. This goes really well too, but I, I do like that one. Um, I'm just gonna give this a little ink around and we'll see what else we wanna put on there. My butterflies have all hatched and are on their way to Mexico. It's amazing. I was watching my granddaughter a migration thing on Disney. And, um, I mean, I know a lot about monarchs anyway, but I did not know that on their way to the Northeast and everywhere, north, just basically north, they go everywhere in the United States, north, um, and into Canada, um, that they, it takes three generations of them to get from Mexico to wherever their destination is in the United States. Three generations. So, you know, they, one butterfly leaves Mexico, flies away, stops, lays its eggs, does its whole thing. The next butterfly that hatches flies another leg. Blah, 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 they do their thing. And then, then the last one flies all the way here and lays its eggs. And then the ones that hatch here, I'm saying here, meaning anywhere in the United States, really, um, they will turn around when they get ready to fly back, they turn around and they fly all the way back to Mexico. No stopping. I mean, oh gosh, it's just amazing to me that that could happen, you know? God created something so just unbelievable. Emma, I don't want to hear anything from you. Um, unbelievable that that it could do that. It just boggles my mind. It boggles my mind. Does it boggle your mind too, Emma? Yes, I can hear that it does. And you were just out, so I don't really want to know anything about your barkiness. So please stop barking at me. Yeah. Yeah, she always thinks, you need to stop and do what I say. No, no, I don't. No, I do not, really. I'm just playing with this. I don't know, really, what it's going to look like. But we're just going to do that. Let's see. That on this. And then the butterfly. What's that going to look like? Emma, you need to wait. You just need to wait. She was glad to be home. She doesn't like to travel. I mean, she does, she likes to. She likes to go and, and have a good time too, but um, she likes to go home. And I gotta say, for me, three days away from home, visiting my kids is pretty much, that's that's good. I mean, I, I need to get home and do stuff at home too. You know, I do have a house I need to take care of. A little bit anyway, you know, just a little bit. So. All right, so I like Emmy. Hey, you need to go lay down now. Go lay down. Okay, just put that there. All right, well, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's nice. Now the cats are going to start fighting. Oh, man, I'll tell you. It's like a zoo around here sometimes. Okay, come on. Come on, get down there. There. Just wanted that to kind of go like that. There. So that's pretty. Okay. I like those. Um, let me see. Let's see what time it is here. Okay, we're good. We are good. I have a little sip of tea. Let's see what we want to do on these two. This has already got that there, but I suppose we could, it could be happy with a little bit of lace there, I think. I think that looks pretty good. And just put a little lace. There. I think the farmers are haying this weekend. Let's just 
got to do what you got to do. When the hay is ready, you got to do it, right? What's that saying? Make hay while the sun shines? I think that's the saying. Yeah. So I like that there. And I really like, actually, the way that looked under that butterfly there. But, of course, there's a dragonfly on that one. So I need to sweep my floor around here. Strings and paper and all the things. Um, maybe I just want like a little piece of lace up here and a button or two or something, maybe. I don't know. Well, that could be under there. Let's just chomp off a piece of this. I hope I'm in. Ugh, am I not in frame? Oh, I am. Okay, I am. I don't know. How do you guys set up your camera so you can see, actually, where you are? I mean, I have my camera, you know, on the little hanging over tripod thing. Um, and I have it so it's you know, the picture that I can look at is on the upside, but still the the tripod thing covers a lot of the picture, so I can't always see where things are. I'll put that there, like that, and then I'm gonna layer, I don't know, something else on, on there, a little something else, like, I just wanna put a bunch of layers on here, I think. I think I do. So we're just gonna do that. Put another layer of whatever on here, like that, maybe. And then I do have, whoops, get off of me, please. Um, I have these little labels like this. Um, Or maybe just a little stamp. Would a little stamp be fun there? Oh, there they go. Yep. The small cat, the young cat, just can't leave the elder cat alone. And the older cat won't be mean enough to get him to stop bugging her. And I keep telling her, you gotta just, you gotta just do it. You gotta just be mean to him for a second because um, he doesn't get it. He does not get it. All right, who are you? Um, I don't know who you are. How about this one? Or does it need more color than that? Uh, it might need a little more color. Let's just, um, let's do something with a little more color. Probably purple is too much, maybe. Ooh. <laughs> I do love purple. I do. I really, really, really do. Here's this one. It's a little blue one. Um, Emma, you need to just go lie down because, yeah, you do. You just do. Um, what's this guy? I don't even know what this is. Oh, I wish that was a smaller one. That's too big. Oh, gracious sakes, what's in here? Who's this lady? I don't know. Come out of there. Yeah, I can't get these out. Oh, there's my little tweezers. Come out, please. Miss, get out. Goodness. She is someone from the Netherlands. She's a very dark blue, though. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm not impressed with any of those. Um, huh, huh, huh. Well, let's look. These are a couple of green type ones and that actually goes pretty well. Um, and I don't know where that stamp is from either, but how about if we put that on there? Okay, let's put that on there. Oh.
some nice glue on there. Let it zhuzh it around a little bit. And I'm just gonna put this like crooked, a little crooked because then it doesn't look like I tried to make it straight. <laughs> there. Okay. That was the one that I needed to find, but I'm still feeling like I need something right on this side because um, maybe something, but a butterfly, no, because that's a dragonfly there. Um, I think a little button. If I could come up with a little button to put there, um, it could be good. It could be. What's in here? These, I have some buttons that I've sewn on that I have all ready to put on. A little button like that. Maybe let's clip off these little threads without clipping my finger. It'd be good. Okay. Yeah, I know. You always need more than one, but I don't really want to put another one there. Let's put that one and then let's see what else we think we might need. Is all that goober up on there for heaven's sake? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit on there. Okay. And I'll put that there. And um, I need to look at my little doodads, doodads. Maybe I'll, oh, are you gonna stick on there now? Come on. Of course you are. And I think I might put a little pearly pearl right there. Okay? Like that. And then maybe a little smaller one next to it. Like right in here. Down a little though. Go down a little more. There. Like that. Okay. Yeah, now it looks like there's eyes on there. Get over here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you over here on this side. There. Okay. I'm gonna put those back in here. Gotta do some more of those, so those are ready to go. Be my watching my watching shows job. Whoa! <laughs> Just losing the thing here that goes on here like this. Alright, let's see. Alright, so this was a cool project. So we got those three, and we got this one done. I'm not gonna put that on there. Maybe on there, I don't know. Maybe we'll find one to go on there. Um, so then, you know, we'll just make some, I'll just do some tags to fit right in here. Oh, that, this is the upway one. Um, this one might need something there, but I like, these two are definitely done. You know, I could put a little bit of, just a little bit of strings down there. Um, why not? From the buttons, right? Come on. Actually, and we'll put this down here too. Okay, I'm going to put this bunch of <clears throat> cheesecloth, and then we're going to put these strings on here too. Just because it makes it a little bit interesting. There we go. How's that? That looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> strings. Strings everywhere. Okay. Oh, there. I like that. Just gives it a little more. So we did those, and we did this, and yeah. So I think we'll, we'll end here for today. And um, I have to decide how I want these guys to go and figure out what to do about those. How do... How do we want to? But I mean, just as simple as a piece of lace, like that. Let's just do that right now. Let's see what it looks like. This piece of lace has been lasting me a while here. Oh, lots of things on here. Yeah, so let's just put it right on here. Of course, if you didn't have these little bags, you could always, 
You could always make some just with some Amazon packing paper, you know, and then a little um, piece of glassine from some, you know, packaging. Yeah, like this. This could work to make a, a little window, you know. So, yeah, you can always come up with other stuff if you don't have this. Use what you've got there. And then that would go right on a page. Um, in your journal like this you know and then if you ink it up or whatever this could even go over a little more move this around a little bit because I used Fabri-Tac so I can do that yeah, you know just like that yeah very cool okay all right my friends thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and um, I hope you all are doing well and doing some crafting and having fun. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.